All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to CatCast episode number 587. I'm your host, GBD, here in Long Island, New York. And as always, we're joined by a man who loves to leak a speck or two, Wombat. I don't even know what that means. Leak a speck or two, Wombat. I don't, I don't, I don't leak my speck. It sounds gross. Leak? I'm not detecting any leak. I'm not detecting any speck. I'm not detecting you re- getting my Star Trek references. No, I will, I would not get your Star Trek references. Sorry. Shipwreck doesn't either, apparently. It sounded familiar, but I would have just not guessed Star Trek. Right. As far as I'm concerned, the only good space show on, that was on TV in the 60s is Lost in Space. Everything else is second. Pretty great movie, too. Oh, Matt LeBlanc's finest work. Mm-hmm. Netflix show. He played. Good. He played the robot, right? <laughs> Doesn't he always? It's a jab wow. at Matt LeBlanc. What did he ever do to me? Take, take that, Matt <laughs> yeah. LeBlanc! Right, well, knocking no. him down a peg. <laughs> he, all he did was entertain you for like ten years for free. Oh. Right, and then there was a year of Joey. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was on for more than a year. <laughs> no. Yeah. What were the other nine years he was entertaining you? Yeah. Oh, Joey the show. I Joey the show. That. Right. Well, I I knew he wasn't entertaining you with that just because you had your 10 years already. Mm-hmm. From for all, of, all accounts from other stories I've heard, he's apparently a very nice guy. So I take it all back, Matt LeBlanc. Good. You're welcome on the show anytime. <laughs> he's probably a big fan of yours and yeah. you hurt his feelings. I know. And that's why I'm ta- I feel bad. Honestly, I feel guilty. Good. I'm going to put a turkey on my head and apologize. Damn, this PC culture. You can't even make fun of Matt LeBlanc anymore. Nope, not anymore. Too guilty. Thanks, Obama. (laughs) So how's everybody doing? Hanging in there. Do you start break tomorrow? Not you personally, but your son. Yeah, I didn't know. (laughs) I was going to say, what is Cheapy taking a break from? You know. Taking a break. Ping pong. From all his worries. Sure can help a lot. Uh, Yeah, I I thought it didn't start till Friday, so it kind of screwed up my plans a little bit. But that's what happens when you have kids. Yes, it does. It's all part of you it. Screw up your plans a little bit. A little t- bit. The boys come with bit. me to work tomorrow. The less kids you have, the less they screw up your plans a little bit. Mm-hmm. Although when they hit a certain age, like Sabrina made her own plans. Like right. she's not home right now. She won't be home until Friday. She's like, uh, she just walks out the door. She's like, I'll see you Friday. And I go, all right. What? Yeah. I'll see you on Friday. <laughs> I'm sure that's what happened. Yep. I said, okay, pack a pack a change she of underwear. And she didn't bring anything? No. All right. Whew. Of course she did. But yes, I know exactly where she is. I know. <laughs> Don't be silly. But yes, wish me luck tomorrow. I'll be taking the boy to work. Good luck. Mm-hmm. On the train and everything. <laughs> Pretty exciting. Ah, it is. If you were eight, you'd be excited. Sorry, I just sipped hot tea in, on the microphone. That was that was a very red letter media nerd crew move. Mm. Sorry about that. I very, just really wanted that tea. Very cool. <laughs> we need a few more of those. Very it's been cool. a while. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised they didn't do one after the Star Wars trailer came out. But what else? Oh, they did a different one, making fun of the Star Wars trailer. Yeah. Did they? I didn't see it. Uh huh. They've been disappointing me lately. So, How, are are they more disappointing to you, or is Matt LeBlanc? Ah, uh, mm, <laughs> probably Red Letter Media. Oh wow. Mm. Yeah. Is it the, the Brie Larson thing? That was part, but I feel like it's been like coming. Like it's not like it just happened. I'm like, oh look at that. Maybe there is a pattern here. But whatever. <sighs> Interesting. I'm not them. So. Are you saying the M in RLM stands for misogyny? Yes. Real life misogyny. <laughs> wow. You heard it here first. First. The first. rabbit hole is getting deeper. <laughs> Who else do you hate, Wombat? I hate everyone. <laughs> Who hasn't given Wombat a free game in the last uh, three months? I mean, honestly, at this point, I'm pretty much over everyone that's a human being. So I saw you you we're depressed enough to go back and start playing Skyrim. And that's really when you know I've hit rock bottom is I've <laughs> I've played like I honestly I may have played 10 hours of Skyrim over the weekend. Just 
done. I, I logged on and and saw that you were playing Skyrim, mm-hmm. and I shook my head. Yep, that's <laughs> where I'm at. I'm it's, when I've given up on society as a whole. I need to go and play a game where society is better. Hmm. So Skyrim, it is. Skyrim, more like Skyrim. Yeah, it is. It's literally like my Prozac. My version of Prozac is Skyrim. I'm like, okay, I'm so just... So you just, you started a new character? Started a new character. Elliot Perfect. helped me. Elliot designed the character. So I'm playing as I'm, the Ar- glad, Argonian, yeah. the lizard person. Okay. Uh-huh. Um, he's got lots of, lots of horns and lots of face scars and some purple. So <laughs> that's what happens when, when you ask your son to design your character. Oh, and he's also like gigantic because you know how you could like adjust the musculature this guy is as, as jacked. Musculature. As he, musculature. Musculature? Musculature. He's as jacked as a lizard man can get. So it's interesting. It's kind of funny to look at. But Jack me offer. Mm-hmm. But I'm enjoying it again. Again. For, I'm, I'm glad you finished Borderlands 2 so quickly. I you know what? I sometimes you just need to do what makes you feel what makes you happy. And if this is making me happy, I'm gonna keep doing it. We're not gonna judge you. A chip rush a little no, 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 no. bit. Shepard. Just because you were so you were so like gung ho about getting into Borderlands 2 last week. I know. I was into it, and then I was like, I just I I can't deal with the universe right now, so I have to deal with something else. Not the universe of Borderlands, but the universe as a whole. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I think there's a difference between judging you and making fun of you. And is that what it gonna, is? We're, we're just making fun of you. I understand. But yeah, so back to Skyrim it is. Maybe I'll stop playing it one day and then you'll know things have turned around. That probably will be sometime within the next, I don't know, eight or nine years. I'm hoping. Good luck. Mm hmm. Skyrim. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good game. Game is right. good. 